And if you hate driving over the river now, you'll soon hate it even more. What do you think about more lanes and more bridges over the Rio Grande? Ask anyone who's had to sit in bumper-to-bumper -bumper rush hour traffic, it's not fun. Growth projections show it will happen even more, tying up traffic on the handful of bridges. Tens of thousands of people travel every day here in the metro area. Transportation officials say the time to start addressing the problem is now. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez is live in the Newsplex. And Tim, they're just days away from considering some of the options. It's a problem that many of us already deal with every day. It's every driver's worst nightmare. Getting stuck in traffic like this, cars backed up for miles. Now imagine it's on a bridge with nowhere to turn off, and it happens every day during rush hour. If nothing changes, it's projected that the crossings will be down to two miles an hour during peak times. Metro Transportation Board Chair Maggie Hartstebben says a recent metro area growth projection shows it could happen in 25 years, turning these bridges into parking lots. The river crossings are really going to be uh, the, the choke point in the daily commute. The projection shows exactly what's happening today. More homes on the west side and most of the jobs still east of the river. And while 25 years may seem far away, Hart Stebbins says if changes don't start now, it will be too late. So is bridge expansion a possibility? The last time Montano Bridge was expanded, residents weren't happy. And this time is no different. You're spoiling uh our area, I feel. Dan Mayfield lives a few blocks from the Montano Bridge. He says he will protest widening it even more because he doesn't want his residential road turned into a freeway. I hate to see it. I don't know where there'd be room for it with the residences here. But his neighbor thinks differently. Quentin Ferrante is in favor of the expansion. Later in the day, like at rush hour, it gets really congested. And like going, uh, going west is like terrible. On Montana. Adding lanes is one thing. Adding an entire bridge seems impossible. There's really no community at this point in time stepping up to say, yes, we will build another bridge. Now, Hart Stebbins says other options include adding tolls to certain roads. Carpoolers would pay less. Bus riders would not pay a toll at all. How right. could, could you possibly encourage people to hop on a bus when gas prices didn't even really do it? Right. Well, I think that... You can't, I think everyone is realizing we can't build our way out of this congestion. And this is not only a Bernalillo County issue. Sandoval and Valencia County are included in the soon-to-be new metro transportation plan. A series of meetings is set out for the public to weigh in. First meeting is scheduled for Wednesday in Sandoval County. For more information on that meeting and meetings to follow, go to carequ.com. Tim back. Thank you, Crystal. Transportation Board Chair Maggie Hart-Stebbins says other solutions are out there, too, like adding more incentives.